Welcome to Dr. Reed and Co. Movies. In today's video I am going to be recapping the events of Hush, a 2016 American slasher film where a deaf and mute writer must fight for her life in silence when a masked killer appears at her window. Spoilers ahead. You have been warned, please like the video and subscribe to the channel if you enjoy this video. Maddie Young is a writer who lost her ability to hear and speak when she was 13, in hopes of strengthening her abilities as an author, she lives alone in the woods. One evening, Maddie is cooking dinner when she gets a text message from her friend Sarah. Maddie invites her over, a few minutes later, Sarah arrives with a book Maddie had lent her, it is one of the books Maddie has written, Sarah tells Maddie she loves it and praises her writing abilities. As they are talking, a loud alarm goes off, they rush inside to see it is the fire alarm, Maddie had mistakenly burnt the food, she apologizes to Sarah for the fire alarm being too loud. Later, Sarah invites Maddie to come over for dinner, but she refuses. Sarah then leaves, and Maddie sits down to type on her computer, she is brainstorming ideas for her book, but it doesn't seem to be working. Frustrated, she gets up to clean the kitchen when all of a sudden, a blooded Sarah bangs on her windows. But Maddie doesn't hear or notice her, a masked man is outside with Sarah too, she screams and cries for help as he stabs her several times, he sees Maddie cleaning through the window and soon realizes that she is mute. Maddie goes back to her couch and starts typing again, the intruder has now snuck into the house and stands right behind her, Maddie is still unaware of his presence, just then, Maddie's sister Max facetimes her. As they are talking, the man steals her phone, after ending the call, Maddie walks around the house looking for her cat but doesn't find it, so, she sits back on the couch and opens her laptop. As she does that, she gets a text from her own phone, Maddie is surprised to find several pictures of her from a few minutes ago, then, she receives one of her in the exact position she is sitting on the couch. She realizes that someone is taking pictures of her, she gets up, and for the first time, sees the masked intruder outside her house, he has her phone in his hand, she rushes quickly and closes the window before he can enter. She then goes to her laptop to call the police but can't because the man cuts off the electricity in the house, terrified, she looks at the man through the window, he then slices the tires of her car, so she cannot run away. Maddie is terrified, she takes a lipstick and writes, won't tell, didn't see face, boyfriend coming home, on her window, her plan is to agree not to tell anyone about the intruder and send him away, but the intruder reads the message and takes his mask off. He tells her that she has seen his face now, he can easily break one of the windows and get into the house, but he wants Maddie to wish she were dead, Maddie is terrified but manages to fetch a knife and a hammer from the kitchen. She then goes to her room, locks the door, and sits in a corner, suddenly a shadow is seen through the window, it is a blooded hand, she gets up slowly to see the intruder holding Sarah's corpse, shocked, Maddie runs out of the room and mourns her friend's death, but then she remembers Sarah has her phone. Maddie thinks of a plan, she gets her car keys to trigger an alarm in hopes of distracting the man, she then runs to her room to get Sarah's phone through the window, but she is not quick enough. The man sees her trying to get the phone and runs to get her, thankfully she gets inside before he can reach her, the intruder shows Maddie Sarah's phone and keeps it on top of her body, challenging her to get it, he also takes Sarah's necklace with him, Maddie is now in her living room when she sees the man moving around, he goes to the back of the house, taking this chance, Maddie comes through the front door, she hides under the deck before he can see her, when he is away from her view, she makes a run for it, however, the man sees her and fires at her with a crossbow bolt, thankfully, he misses, somehow Maddie manages to run inside the house again, she then climbs up the stairs and attempts to escape through the windows, she climbs down the roof and throws a torchlight to distract him, but her plan fails when the man notices her, he shoots her with the crossbow bolt again, this time, it hits her leg. Now, Maddie is on the roof, injured, and the intruder is climbing up it to reach her, as he reaches the top, Maddie pushes him back down and snatches his crossbow, she tries to hit the man with a bolt, but he starts climbing up again, Maddie quickly rushes back inside through the window and locks it, she has the crossbow with her but her leg is injured and bleeding profusely, crying, Maddie applies medicine to her wound, she then tries to figure out the way to use the crossbow, the man watches her through the window, but she doesn't notice, 
Just then, Sarah's boyfriend Jean knocks on Maddie's front door looking for Sarah. The intruder hears him, but Maddie doesn't. John takes his phone out to call the police, which alerts the intruder. He poses as a police officer and stops him from calling. He makes up a story about calling the sheriff and takes John's phone. As he is handing it back, he drops Sarah's necklace from earlier. Now, John grows suspicious of the man. He tells the man about a fake spare key and plans to hit him when he isn't looking. But he gets distracted by Maddie banging the door. The intruder takes the chance and stabs him in the neck. John tries to fight but the intruder stabs him again. John pushes him to the ground and holds him for Maddie to run away, now this is the time for her to escape, she imagines herself running out the back door, but the man hunts her down. After much struggle, John lets go of the intruder and dies on the spot, Maddie is hopeless now, she realizes that she has no way to get out of this, she knows she will either be caught or bleed to death, with no way out, she decides to kill him. Meanwhile, the intruder is outside smoking cigarettes talking to John's dead body. Maddie's cat finally comes back, the man is about to kill it too, when suddenly, he is struck in the shoulder with a bolt. Maddie has come out of the house to attack the man, she retreats into the house, but one of her arrows falls on the deck, as she tries to grab it, the man slams the sliding door on her hand and crushes it beneath his foot. She slowly drags her blooded palm inside and locks the door, the man watches her on the floor crying in pain, he also breaks the arrow mocking her. He threatens her that he will come in now, with much determination. Maddie stands up and writes, do it, on the glass door with her blood. She then bangs the door and adds coward to it, the man reads it and goes back to get a tire iron, and starts bashing the door with it, as he does that. Maddie types his description on her laptop, she also leaves a message for her family and tells them she died fighting. She then locks herself in the bathroom with a knife and waits for him there, facing the door, but the man is already behind her, he has broken in through the skylight in the bathroom, the man talks to her, thinking she cannot hear him, but Maddie feels his breath on the back of her neck, before he could attack her, she stabs him with her knife, she quickly limps out of the room to the kitchen and hides there, the man comes back looking for her but before he can reach her, she sprays his face with an insecticide and turns on the fire alarm from earlier. The man struggles for a while but doesn't give up, he beats her ruthlessly and starts strangling her. Maggie's whole life flashes in front of her eyes, she remembers pictures of her childhood and her family, she gets hold of a corkscrew and stabs him on the neck. The man bleeds heavily and finally dies, Maddie gets up and finds her phone in his pocket, she finally calls the police and walks out to her front deck. The movie ends as she watches the police car coming to her rescue. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like the video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more of these movie summaries.